I'm Dr. Petrache, a diabetologist. For any questions, please scan the QR code you see on your screen and follow the steps. Today, I will talk about the best flower option if you suffer from diabetes. If you have diabetes, finding the right recipes can be a problem, so the first type of flower that I recommend is almond flour. Almond flour is made from finely chopped almonds and is an ideal alternative to wheat flour because it does not have gluten. In addition to its lack of gluten, almond flour is rich in protein, fiber and healthy fats, which, mean, which means it has a low glycemic index. As I said before, the glycemic index is a method by which we can assess the impact of food on blood sugar. Almond flour has a delicate, nutty taste and can be used in countless recipes, including muffins, cookies, bread and so on. But keep in mind that it can give food a dense texture, precisely because it doesn't have gluten, and gluten is a protein that gives the dough elasticity and helps it grow. The next flower option suitable for diabetics is coconut flour. Coconut flour is made from coconut pulp that has been left to dry and then it has been grounded. Compared to regular flour, it is lower in carbs and it has more fiber that can delay the absorption of sugar in the blood. Coconut flour has a slightly sweet aroma and can be used in, used in countless recipes, including many cakes, cookies, muffins and also in bread. But you have to adjust the amount of coconut flour correctly. If the original recipe had wheat flour, because coconut flour absorbs more water and can give the food a dry texture. Generally, replace a cup of wheat flour with a quarter of a cup with coconut flour. In addition, it is necessary to increase the amount of liquid. The third type of flour suitable for diabetics is chickpea flour. It is made from dried and grounded chickpeas. Chickpea flour has a high protein content that will help lower insulin resistance, a condition that prevents the normal regulation of blood sugar. Chickpea flour has a strong nutty aroma and is suitable for both sweet and savory dishes. Generally, you need to use half the amount of wheat flour to prepare a chickpea meal. Oatmeal is extremely popular and is not only an ideal source, source of fiber and protein, but also a good source of a special type of fiber that has been shown to lower blood sugar. The aroma is delicate, of nuts, and this type of flour can successfully replace wheat flour. If you use oatmeal flour, you need to increase the amount if the original recipe has wheat flour. Generally, for a cup of wheat flour, you need to add a cup and three quarters of oat flour. Spelt flour is another good idea if you suffer from diabetes. Spelt is an ancient cereal closely related to wheat. It is high in fiber and it can help stabilize your blood sugar after meals. Spelt flour has a slightly sweet aroma and a light texture that can be used for countless products, such as bread, tortillas, muffins, but also cookies. You can use a 1 to 1 ratio to replace white flour with spelt flour. Now that we've talked about the flour that I recommend for you to use to replace wheat flour, let's review the flour that I don't recommend 
if you suffer from diabetes. Although there are several types of flour available for diabetics, there are some types that are good to avoid. These flour types are extremely rich in carbs and low in fiber, protein, but also healthy fats. As a result, they can lead to sudden increase in blood sugar. Here are the types of flour you should, you should use less often. White flour, corn flour, white rice flour, but also pastry flour. That's it for today. For any questions, scan the QR code you see on your screen and follow the steps. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and hit the notification bell. I'm Dr. Petrakia and until next time, take care of your body and soul.